Good morning everybody, just getting us going here today. Uh, this is uh, the, st uh, the start of the Eindhoven section. We arrived here last night late. I think I uh, did, the, did the last bit of the barbecue last night. Uh, just before we go, I wanted to show you, we've stickered up again here for Holland. So we're ready to go. Uh, they're growing, growing. Soon we'll get uh, Germany on there next, but uh, yeah. So, uh, we're just heading off now into the city centre. The uh, camp here has been absolutely stunning. Um, I haven't uh, gone for my swim yet. Uh, I thought I'd uh, head off into town first and have a look at what's going on. Um, so yeah, we'll see see what Eindhoven City Centre is saying. I'll update you when we get into some cool bits there. Um, so yeah, but camp last night was uh, really cool. Uh, very, very nice and quiet, nice and uh, peaceful. So yeah, very happy here. And um, much better than um, Rotterdam because it's closer and you can, I can cook, so brilliantes. That's one last view of the campsite as a whole and the old Doblo on our own back there. All right guys, see you in Eindhoven. So just on the walk into uh, Eindhoven city centre, uh, most of it has been parked. We're now getting into the uh, central area, uh, which is quite, getting quite cool. But I just want to show you that, the old traditional Dutch snack machine, vending machine things, pretty cool. Haven't seen them in use yet, but uh, last time I said they were uh, running 24 hours in Amsterdam, so very cool, very, very cool. But yeah, just going to start wandering around the city centre now. Looks like there's some nice pubs around. I might be trying to get myself a little cheeky beer in a minute. But uh, yeah, we'll see, see what's going on here in Eindhoven. So just thought I'd give you a little update here from uh, Eindhoven city centre now. We're by the Eindhoven train station. Some ginormous par bike parking section, which is quite, uh, quite large. And then over here, we have uh, some of the modern architecture area of the uh, city. So I'm going to go check out that, some pictures in a bit. Been wandering, it was a nice wandering through gardens and everything. And it's you know, got busier and busier. And now it's quite a metropolitan city with skyscrapers. So we're going to be doing a good bit of exploring. I uh, just went through the train station. Um, but uh, right now I think I'm going to go find somewhere to grab a beer because it is roasting. So yeah, go go do that now guys. So a bit of a random update here. Uh, here at the uh, landing site of a UFO. No, obviously not. Just a bit of Dutch crazy architecture. But I thought it was a bit of a funky one that like just came over to take some nice pickies just before sunset. It's, uh, it was constructed as a science centre in the 70s but now it's just some um, uh, open, you know, like... Uh, visitor centre type thing. So uh, yeah, it's been uh, nice wandering around Eindhoven this afternoon, lots to see, lots to do, had a few beers, had a little nibble and some Chinese food, and uh, yeah, now just uh, heading back to, into the town centre after shooting this bad boy, and uh, this is to the north west of the town, and uh, yeah, so after that I'm going to head back in now and see some of the business district, probably uh, give you the next update from there guys. So just thought I'd uh, do an update here, it's just after sunset in uh, Eindhoven. We've been uh, enjoying all the uh, pretty pretty buildings. It's a very, very interesting area of town here, They've got all the, that's, that's a subway entrance. And all sorts of madness, look at this bad boy here. So yeah, I'm just uh, finishing up here now, I'm going to uh, try to start making missions back to the van. Have a little barbecue up in the car park. Uh, so I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to come back tomorrow. Uh, I might pop back in for a little visit and then uh, after that head over to Germany, but we shall see. Alright guys, more updates coming soon. Oh yeah, baby. Alright guys, just a little sign off here from Eindhoven City Centre. Just had a few beers, heading back to the van now. Going to do a little barbecue when I get back there, so uh, if that's uh, pretty interesting I might show a little video of that, but if not, I'll see you tomorrow. At uh, wake up and departure, basically. But uh, yeah, it's been a nice evening here. Just had a few beers, met some people, chilled out, had a good time, you know what I mean? So, didn't want to stay out too late though, feeling knackered and hungry. Just gonna go home and cook up a little barbecue. So, yeah, as I say, updates in a bit or tomorrow. 
Just thought I'd shoot a quick video to get us going here today in Eindhoven. Uh, we're still in that same camp. Um, planning to go for a quick walk into town, have a quick look at uh, everything that's uh, going on there uh, this morning because it's quite a nice soft light. And uh, then this afternoon I'm going to head towards Germany. So that's just one last ca get a gander at the old camp and the car park. So it's been nice and quiet, peaceful this morning, all alone again. Very, very lucky. So yeah, more updates from Eindhoven City Centre or maybe the walk-in. So just a quick update here. We are departing the old Doblo. There she is. We've, uh, it's been quite a sociable morning here in the uh, old Eindhoven camp. We've had uh, a couple of chaps staying in this uh, camper van here from England. Uh, we've been chatting with them. They're from Portugal. Well, no, they're from England, but they've uh, moved to Portugal during the pandemic and now they're doing uh, a nice tour of themselves of Europe. Just come from Germany, heading back to, to Portugal. And then over there, we've had the gardeners who've uh, trimmed up our shrubs this morning. And one of them, called Vincent, has uh, invited me around to his place for dinner, beers and a shower this evening. So I was planning to leave Germany, to go to Germany later, but I might, might take him up in a shower and beers. Sounds like a bit of fun. All right, guys, uh, heading into Eindhoven now, at long last, after all of this nattering. So, yeah, I'll uh, update you when we get something good. Just thought I'd share a bit of this walk in with you. It really is uh, a gorgeous little park that uh, I stroll through to go in. I mean, there's weeping willows and all sorts. Just thought I'd uh, share that segment of the old daily traverse into Eindhoven here. Um, yeah, just a nice little stroll. Just another quick update here, this time from outside uh, PSV Eindhoven Stadium. I believe they're quite a good team. Uh, I'm, still, I'm still with Rotterdam, they, they put me up, so I've got to, I've got to stay loyal, you know. But uh, just thought you should see that, it's, still, it's quite a pretty stadium. I think they're in the uh, Champions League sometimes. I'm sure a football fan will uh, correct me, update me below. Just another little quick update. I think that this gate is quite important. People seem to come taking pictures in front of it. So I think, uh, yeah, um, the players go in there or something. I don't know. They, I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool, nonetheless. You can see a little bit of the, sta the, the seating from the stadium in there. I'm now off to the industrial area. I found that there's, uh, I've seen on the internet that there's um, some very old, cool industrial buildings which uh, you're allowed to go in and they're kind of being repurposed. So I'm going to try and find those. Uh, if I can uh, get in there, I will uh, shoot some footage and uh, update you from there. Just stopping here for a little uh, quick spot of lunch in the park. It's quite nice in front of this uh, building. I think this is one of the old Phillips buildings that's uh, being converted. But yeah, more updates in a wee bit. So just here in the park still, and uh, this crazy guy here came and sat with me for a little bit and chilled like, while I had my lunch. He was a, another ex-legionnaire, so that's the second ex-French uh, Legion soldier that I've found here. They seem to all like settling in uh, outside of France after doing it. Crazy stories about where they've been and what they've done. But yeah, just finished up lunch and we're now heading off to try and find some of these uh, cool, cool buildings of uh, strip tea. I'll update you from there, guys. So another quick update here. Uh, we're in strip tea, uh, which is, uh, this is the old power plant from the Philips. Uh, factories here so um, quite an interesting building with uh, these big big old chimneys from when they burn coal to power the factories so uh, the interesting thing of uh, the tale for me here is that uh, it's close to the public but I managed to sneak in and I've just had a nice little wander around uh, taking some nice pictures of the stairs and all the and some other nice bits and pieces in the building uh, so that's worked out quite nicely I had hoped to go in here, because um, I think that they would be quite nice. Um, and there is some doors, but uh, the doors the doors be locked. So, um, unfortunately, lock picking is not, not one of my fortes. I did manage to sneak in, so I'm quite happy with, into the main building. But, yeah, it's quite, uh, quite a solid door, that. So, yeah, I'm going to head now around the rest of uh, Strip T, see if there's anything else that I can... Uh, snifty around and after that we will head back to strip s and into the center see what's going on all right guys more updates in a second so just to shoot another little quick update here we're just uh, coming into sunset we're still in the strip s area i haven't made it back into central centrum yet but very very pretty very very pretty area it's all the old phillips factory here so 
very interesting uh, architecture, so you know, mixture of stuff like you know this and this and this. So. Um, I am hoping to get into this building behind me because it's got a quite beautiful staircase. And if not, I'm going to head into Central. So that's a quick update from here. Just so you know, I'd give you the view from up here before I head back down. All right, guys, see you in a bit. So I've uh, snuck into the uh, old Siemens factory, which is now uh, housing a block of flats, and they have this really massive. Uh, lift, which is an old part set, so I've uh, just thought that as I'm in here, snuck in, I'd uh, catch some lift. I haven't, there's apparently there's some pretty circuits in here, I haven't found that yet, but uh, I've been going up and down all through the building. Uh, there's another building which is connected to it, so I think it might be in there, but I'll work in it right now. But yeah, this is pretty funky. So this is Siemens old parts lift, I can probably get a like, mini in here or something like that. Alright guys, I'll do you for the next spot. So just a quick update here, we've just left uh, Strip S. Um, I uh, managed to get into both of the apartment blocks and uh, shoot the staircases which were gorgeous. Uh, so now I'm just trying to quickly head into the town centre uh, so that I can um, catch the last bit of the sunset which you might be able to see over there if I do that. And you can see the bit of tail end of Strip S there. So yeah, I'm just trying to run in now, grab some shots of the town centre and then uh, I'm done with Eindhoven basically. Uh, I'm feeling pretty knackered and hungry, so I don't know whether or not I'll move tonight, but I, well, I'm going to have to, so because there's some problem, the, the car park needs doing, so I might try that place in the north, uh, I might try and head towards Germany, I don't know, see, we'll see what time we get in, see how successful sunset is, but yeah, I'll update you after this uh, rapid movement to the town centre, done guys. So just do, I thought I'd do one final quick sign off here from Eindhoven. Uh, just met my friend Alpha and had some beers in the street back there. Like just heading back to the old camper now. Um, don't know if I'm going to move this evening now. I might just stay again in that campsite. But there, there was talks of gardening work happening early in the morning. So I'll see what the situation is when I get there. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun here yeah. in Eindhoven yeah. again. And uh, yeah, just heading home. As is he on his bike. Cheers from Eindhoven.